Here we have a very significant increase of the progression free survival. The hazard ratio is 0.45, which means that for the patient who received trametinib, the risk of progression is decreased by 55%. And so it's highly significant. Uh, the p-value is very small. So we have a main objective that is totally reached. But moreover, what we found with this study, and although the crossover was allowed, so patients who progressed after chemotherapy, they could receive trametinib. So this could be a confounding factor for survival. But even in spite of this crossover, we still have, after a follow-up period of 4.9 months, we still have an increased overall survival in the population of patients treated with trametinib. And we have a significant uh, percentage uh, of patients who are alive after six months, 81% versus only 67% in the patient receiving chemotherapy. So we have a better PFS. We also have a better response rate, 22% of confirmed response versus 8%. And really, which is really the... I would say the ultimate goal for cancer treatment would prolong overall survival in a sig significantly.